Yep, they, they keep pushing the envelope, pushing the envelope. All of this comes on the heels of a report at a Northwestern University, for instance, where a professor there, a sexology professor, with a class of nearly 600 students as young as 18 years old, uh, had an after class right there in the classroom display actual pornographic live sex display but with a man and a woman. And uh, I can't even get into details. Uh, over 100 students came uh, were involved. This is because of the teachings, the sexual Actual anarchist teachings of groups like the National Education Association, who is partnered with GLSEN, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network. They provide curriculum along with Planned Parenthood, as we talked about a little bit yesterday. They provide the curriculum to poison the minds of these young children to take a sledgehammer to the cornerstone institutions of marriage and family to obliterate them so that, as you point out, so that we literally have as the norm sexual anarchy, any Thing goes and and Matt, no society that moves in that direction right. is long for the world. No, that's right. In fact, there's actually a study on that yeah. in terms of uh, those societies that go that direction. They end up uh, crumbling economically and and otherwise as well. But Glisson's founder Kevin Jennings mm-hmm. is now employed in a new location in Washington D.C. He is President Obama's so-called safe <laughs> schools and drug-free school zone czar, and. His idea of a safe school is one that indoctrinates on radical homosexuality and even pedophilia. I mean, he thinks that having sex with children is natural and healthy for the child to explore their gender identity. And they teach public school teachers how to indoctrinate kids at very young ages in this radical sexualism. The cognitive dissonance that this creates in, in your mind, this guy is the safe school czar. He's the last person on the face of the earth and an admitted uh, unapologetic former drug abuser, former we say we don't know, uh, and, and his organization, Glisten, recommending readings that uh, talk about li- little kids in kindergarten and first grade having orgies in bathrooms and little boys having having sex with men as a wonderful experience. This is what the the reading materials that they're recommending to your children. This is his organization. These are the people that are teaching our kids about sex and sexuality. It's unconscionable. 